What have I gotten myself into? Oh, man. Oh, man. The more I look, the more I see. Welcome to the 600. So what is the 600? <laughs> the 600 is 600 of this 20 ounce navy blue tumbler that I get to laser engrave a logo on. 600 of them. By far the largest order I have ever received in my shop. Uh, I'm doing a collaboration with another small business here in town and uh, I was asked to do the tumblers because this person doesn't do laser engraving and the items that this person is creating are items that I don't get into so we're not taking away from each other's business we're collaborating together to create one really nice substantial order for the, the end user who's buying them. Um, it took a little while for the purchase order to get issued, but we got it. And so yesterday I ordered the tumblers. I went to Houston to JDS today to pick them up. Uh, this video is gonna be a little bit different. This is an intro video. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit long, but I think you're gonna get a kick out of it. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna talk about everything that transpired, getting the order picked up, to the point and then getting it delivered here in my shop. <laughs> uh, I wish I'd had cameras rolling. It'd have made me $10,000. <laughs> so the fiasco started at JDS. Um, my, I brought my little utility trailer. My utility trailer has a pretty good size lift gate on the back or tailgate on the back, uh, expanded metal ramp gate if you will for driving yard tractors and things like that up into the to the trailer well that's great for for that type of work but it really didn't work for them to load the order into my trailer with their forklift they palletized everything use shrink wrap around it to protect it from the elements um, and then brought it out with their forklift to put it on but their forklift they could not get close enough to my trailer we couldn't come from the side so we had to get up as far as we could set it down then he had to back out with his forklift lift it up a little bit shove it forward set it down and just kind of piecemeal it in three or four times to where we got it in far enough that i could lift my tailgate up and lock it in place. So that's that's what we did. So um, I strapped it down with my strap so it wasn't gonna move. And then, thank goodness they did uh, shrink wrap it because I did have to drive through some rain coming home. Uh, but fortunately, no damage at all whatsoever. So JDS did an awesome job preparing my order for shipping. So once I got home, We'd had enough rain that I decided I didn't want to drive my truck through my yard to come back to my shop, which is in my backyard. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go get my yard tractor because my yard tractor pulls my trailer really well. And it's pulled it with some good weight on it. So I wasn't worried about it. <laughs> so I go get my yard tractor and I park it beside my uh, truck or beside my trailer in my yard. My truck is the trailer's out in the street. And so first thing I do is I unplug the power, the trailer lights, and then I unhooked the safety chains. And then I unhitched, pulled the pin and unhitched. And thank goodness I was standing to the side because I forgot that load was on the very back of the trailer. And I mean, that trailer just stood up. <laughs> Caught me by surprise. Fortunately, there was nobody around to see my embarrassment. <laughs> so I reached up, grabbed it, and I could pull it back down. So I said, okay, the weight of the fulcrum and whatnot, you know, it's physics. Listen to this physics, you learn. 
I could pull it down and hitch it on. So I got the truck out of the way. I backed my tractor up to the area and I pulled it down and latched it on to the ball on the back of my tractor and everything looked good. Tractor didn't, didn't move, everything's fine. I said, all right, we're good to go. So I climbed on the tractor and I started driving to my backyard. So I said, I'm just gonna go as far as it'll go until it doesn't go anymore and then I'll figure out what to do. So I made it all the way through my front yard, through my double gates, all the way back around to my sheds in my shop. I have a small shed in my shop and I stopped just short of the double doors on my shop so I could open them because I wanted to have both doors open so that I could easier, it was easier to bring all these 25 cases in. So I got the door swung open, latched in place, got back on the tractor to move it forward. Y'all, I'm fat, but <laughs> there wasn't enough lead in my behind to give that tractor traction on that wet grass. I was stuck like Chuck. It wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I'm about 40 feet away from from the doors with the trailer. I said, no problem, I'll just get my two wheel dolly and I'll just load them up and bring them in. <clears throat> so I grabbed my dolly, went over to the trailer. So the first thing I did is I took off my straps that I had strapped it all in so that it wouldn't shift on me uh, while I was traveling. So I took my straps off and then I removed the shrink wrap and I lowered my tailgate on my trailer. I thought I'll just walk up the trailer and put the cartons on the on the two-wheel dolly, roll it down the ramp, and take it right on into the shop. <laughs> I put one foot on that lift gate, and that trailer lifted up again. Only this time, it's got my tractor hitched on. So I mean, it's they went from here to here. <laughs> I bet the bottom of my tractor tires, the rear tractor tires, were three feet off the ground. <laughs> and you know what the first thing popped into my head was? That's a pretty good hitch. <laughs> so as soon as I stepped off the tailgate, it just lowered itself right back down and everything was fine. It was no damage to the tractor or the trailer or any of the, the cases of the tumblers. So I said, you know what? We're gonna unload it from the side. So I unloaded them off on the side and, and carted them in that away. So um, anyway, I just wanted to, this is the introductory to the 600. Uh, the story was just too good not to tell. If I had had the camera rolling, uh, you know, this probably was a $10,000 winner with as many times as I had this fiasco painted in my face. <laughs> hey, I'm not always the sharpest tack or the, the best tool in the box, you know. So <laughs> anyway, um, so we're going to pick up in the next video. We'll get into the actual production of what we're going to do. And I'll show you the logo that I'm going to engrave and uh, the process and how we've all got it set up. So. Uh, what I did to make things work in the shop for this large order was those of y'all who know my shop, you know that I have saws and, and dust collection systems and uh, other kind of woodworking tools uh, all in my shop. And so what I did was I moved all those tools that I could over to my storage unit where I have all my inventory that I store for my jobs. Um, I moved all those over there and then that freed up all this space here. So uh, I'll show you in some pictures, uh, I don't know, somewhere up here, I'll show you some pictures of the tables that I set up and how much room I had in the shop. So it worked out great. I've got all 25 cases here. Uh, I did change my mind of how I was going to logistically work all this uh, in, in my shop, but it's going to work out just fine. Over here, I've got uh, one of my folding tables set up and I'll work one case at a time and that's going to help me just kind of keep track of how things are going. So it's going to work out real, real good. So uh, in video number two, when we come back, we'll actually be getting into the engraving and uh, uh, I'll talk with my my, my partner in this and see if um, 
if they have any reservations about me uh, using their name in the video. I have not discussed this with them, so that's why I'm not releasing that information just yet. But uh, I don't think there will be any issue, but I just I just wanted to make sure before I do it. So anyway, hey, this, is, uh, this has been a funny day. And, uh, you know, I, I got a laugh. Today is December 15th, 2023. And... Today would have been my late wife's 70th birthday, so I think she was playing a prank on me today. She got me. <laughs> Beth, you got me good, baby. I do miss you. I love you so much. I wish you were still here. We were having so much fun, but anyway, it wasn't in our plan. So, uh, again, this is going to be a wrap-up in the first video of the 600. So until we come back, if you would, hug all your family and friends. Let them know you love them, and God bless.